Hello and welcome back to Tectonica. In our last episode, we did some after end game stuff. We upgraded the, the uh, production terminal ones. We upgraded some different arrays to make them a little bit more efficient or uh, balanced or something. -er. And we also started providing the items we needed for the next tier of the production terminal. And that's just about finished. So we're going to unlock that shortly, but before we do, I wanted to come out here and, of course, uh, move the um, Pore Composer again. It is time. It is time. Uh, it had 282, I think is what I saw, in it uh, that it couldn't be placed. So we're going to do this, and then we're going to do this. Oopsie, uh, that's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. And then we're going to do that. And you need to be a four input input, and we'll dump those 280, uh, not 290, uh, one into there. And those will of course be provided out here. And we'll get another stack of cores composed here. We'll fill that uh, next section out. And we're just gonna keep doing that until we, you know, run out of something. Whatever that something might be, until we run out of something. So again, we'll go back to the to the main base here. Uh, kind of done out here other than composing the cores uh, at least until we have another you know until we put up another couple hundred and then we'll have to do that move that thing again uh, I don't know how many it's putting up there every time I haven't bothered counting but it's at least a few hundred I think I think it's a full tree is something like around 500 it feels like um, so it's somewhere less than that but not a whole lot less uh, a few hundred anyway Okay, so production terminal. Where are you at? You are at waiting on advanced circuits times 26. You know what? I'm going to help you out a little bit there. And we will upgrade the terminal. Holy crap, look at the power. Oof. All right, here unlocked. Uh, frames, circuits, conveyor belts, 9,000 conveyor belts, and 4,700 mining terminal charges. Upgraded. New technologies Oof. and recommended tasks available. Oof. One more upgrade to go before we max this terminal outbreaker. Mm-hmm. Uh, nothing here in Mole 2. Um, which is interesting that upgrades existing Mole with general enhancements, but this is the one slot we haven't had in Mole enhancement on. Interesting. Synthesis. Uh, threshing speed. We could do that, I suppose. Uh, what that would do for us, uh, we're almost there. What that would do for us is it would give us, um, it would screw with all my calculations again. Um, so that's always useful uh, to screw with Wally's calculations. Uh, if we went to threshing speed three, that means that one thresher could now provide uh, 176 Shiverthorn extract instead of the 120 was before and uh, same kind of numbers for the Kindle Vine and by that we'll have a bunch of other outputs that we would need to handle <laughs> uh, why the heck not do it anyway uh, it's, there's not much up here so we went as well although I did intend to do some of these things too or these things here too so uh, we have a lot of here we can spend things on transportation we have another rail rush or two we could spend things on spend the things on uh, power trim would probably be a good thing to, to do this one's less important um, but all the power trims I do want to do and then of course accumulation 4 would be really good as would uh, HVC reach 2 uh, maybe, eh, not really. Um, and then over here, uh, cool dense couldn't hurt. Um, and then now we can finally do all of these, this whole column, but we have to have a lot more blue cores. So, uh, we will do that, uh, post haste. In the meantime, we have a lot of these things to feed in, uh, a lot of belts to feed in. We could, we could belt the belts. Um, we could belt the belts. What if... What if we belted the belts? What would that mean? Insert them here in the front. Do I want to belt the belts? 
not right now because I don't want to be without them if I need to do any sort of designs. Uh, we can always do that later, but for now, we'll wait, I think. But we can feed in two full stacks and keep the rest here. So that is 11% uh, of the way there on that. Um, given where the rest of them are, that's pretty good. Um, we could probably also double the mining charge array and or just upgrade it to assemblers two. That wouldn't hurt either. Let's go up this way. I forgot we had this ramp now too. Up the ramp. Up the ramp. I suppose we could start with that. Although right now we're still suffering under a lack of sufficient of that. And the reason there is feels like it's getting stuck here. But I don't think so. No, it's not. It's not. But we are producing around that much. Um, if I look at the numbers on... Uh, what's it called? Um, no, no. Kindle Vine Extract. Um, we could now be producing as much as 176 times 2. 352 Kindle Vine Extract. Which means we'd need to have two belts of that. Uh, we only have one. Yeah, we only have one. So we'd have to do some different stuff here then. That might become worth it, uh, especially because our limestone right now is such a kind of a mess. Um, could. I mean, technically all I'll have to do is take this one right here and do something different with it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, that's actually working kind of well with that one slower belt there. But if I add more to this, it's not going to help. It's not going to work. Um, but that also means we have to deal with 352 plant matter as a byproduct. And that means that we need a second belt of plant matter, which we can also accomplish using a similar method. Uh, why don't we consider doing that then? Uh, stems... That means we need 12 planters for stems, which means we'd have to do something different here, even if it is punching into that wall to build a bigger line here. Because we do have... Oh, this is a problem. That's definitely a problem. Do I have the same problem over here? Not really because it's jammed up, but technically yes. Technically, yes. But yeah, it's jammed up, so it doesn't... In effect, no, but technically, yes. Because we're not using enough of it at the moment. Well, why don't we expand and change this around then to, to, to handle uh, that additional output. So this should be fine on this belt. Uh, the four threshers here. Technically, we still only need two. Um, but technically, we need to handle outputting then... Uh, we'll call it 180 per minute from two. So instead, we're doing 90 per minute of each product. Uh, which is fine for th still three inserters of each. So that's, that's good to have four of these still. Um... We would need to handle a second belt of plant matter here. I would like to balance these. And in order to balance them, I need to change this here. So, oh, I'm not using that Kindle Vine well either. Uh, let's change this here. Oh no. How did that. That's so annoying. You. 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 Uh, you. One, 
one, two. So that means this one. There. That means you can go up and over and turn into here now. For right now, that is. Not, not forever, but for right now. Just to keep everything moving. And then this one can come out and go this way. Um... And can follow its mate here. All the way to that point. So I'm going to take this out here as well. Give myself some extra room to work here. It can go out this way. And it can go down here. Like this. And into there. And I think that'll work, but we'll have to see how well it works. And then we need to, you know, fix this, of course, before I forget again, like I did the last time. There you go. All right, that's great. I think that's fine. I think that's really fine. Uh, so now we need to deal with the extra Kindle Vine here. And so these two, coming from here, we need to go onto a separate belt, which I think can just be parallel to this one. Uh, so we could break, break it right here. And rebuild this one like this. Turn like this. And it can go, and that's fine to do that, I think. Um, but I actually wanted this. Uh, no, let's just go here and go up and over like that. That'll be fine. Better yet. Come down this way. Uh, make sure I didn't screw anything up here with um, touching the wrong things. There, I think. Maybe. This one, I definitely want to deal with differently now. Um, but I think I also want to allow for a bypass here. From one of these belts. Maybe. I think. Maybe. I think I want to do this. So what I suspect will happen is it's going to try to use these two belts evenly here. But this one's already going to lose half of its quantity going that way. So we're going to end up with about a belt and a half coming into this point. Actually less than that because there's also some getting pushed along the bus. Uh, a belt in a bit anyway coming into here. Which means that these will start to back up. Now that'll handle with this okay. But this one's going to back up unforgivingly. And that's not really good. That's not really good. Well, maybe it won't. Maybe it won't. Because it's already starting to dwindle anyway. After it dealt with its backlog. Empty. Empty. I mean, effectively. Empty. And empty mostly. Yeah. And then you are going to need more... More seeds coming in. Which is where we need the other four coming from. Um, break this again, I think. But I'm going to do something a little different with that. Let's do um, tunnel. And do the big tunnel. Uh, yeah, why the heck not? That's a big tunnel. Hello. Perfect. That's eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Yeah. Four more of these. F9. We're going to do one, leave a space. Two, three, four. And then I want to do some power flow here, of course. Like 
this. Ooh, that's perfect. Could have done much better with that if I tried. And the space we're leaving here, by the way, is for this belt. Uh, I'm going to put down a dummy belt. Uh, there. Yes. This will go up and over, and then come right back down again. And then I can put this belt in here. My seeds. And then this one here to there. Not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. There you go. And I wonder now if I want to inject some more of these seeds into the line. And I think the answer to that question is yes. I have to be a little bit more creative on this ideal here. Uh, there, I think. And then this one can go here and like this. And you can have these seeds, and I will just figure it out in the end uh, when the end comes. Sort. Dump off some of this. And over here, too. Just to balance the lines. No real reason. Yeah, that's um, it's an impressive uh, amount of stuff we're handling here. Is, and this is the lack of seeds. Okay, so once... Or lack of uh, plants. So once we have the seeds working... I didn't do this side. Uh, once we have the seeds working, we can be in a much better position here. There you go. So we're nearly done. Oh, let's see. Oh, we're done with these... I don't have any more stashed anywhere, which I don't. I think we're actually at a good point with those seeds, too. Yeah, I think that's really good. And the reason I think it's really good is because this is empty just now. And it's at the point where this is able to pick them up. Like, they're not they're not too far down the belt. That it's a, you know, that, that there's a huge gap here and this one can't get any. And that's the concern. Um, is that there's too much... Um, there's not enough on the belt for this one to be able to grab any right away, so it ends up missing some of its time. And since everything is calculated out, we need the time to be right. Wonderful. And this will balance itself out, too, a little bit, because it is fed a bunch of them in at the same time. So this is going to take a moment to uh, output everything that it needs to output. Okay, so while that's running, and while that's running, uh, the last thing that I know that I wanted to do is to set up a new array for um, stack inserters. And I want to do that over here, underneath this, uh, this core array. So I want to definitely do this and take out one row, of course. Um, I know that bothers some folks. Uh, nope, not that way. Nope, nope, nope. Why is that being weird? Right there. It's being weird right there. Then fine, we'll do this way then. Um, but it, it works out fine. Uh, and then this one would just output over here someplace. But we need to do a little bit of uh, figuring here. And the figuring we need to do is how many stack inserters do we want to make? And I think the number we want to make is no more than one, one Mark I assembler's worth, which is 13. Um, the ingredients... Whoa, sorry about that. 
I bumped my mouse too hard and it and it went crazy. There are three fast inserters uh, every one second. These are made every 0. 0.44 seconds. And so, um, but we make two of them here. So you're making two every 0. 0.44 seconds, which is one every 0. 0.22 seconds, which means we can make almost five of them in the time that we need to make one recipe for these. So it ends up working out pretty good. Um, in fact, we could even do, and this is, this is a little bit, yeah, we could even steal from here, from this box and I'll put them back this way and feed them in and, and be also okay. Uh, or third option, slightly different, but still a third option is we could, um, steal from this machine that way for every craft this machine does one of them goes into the box until the box is full and one of them goes towards stack inserters and i think that's the best option all told because the stack inserter array is going to get big enough as it is and so that means we only need to make cooling systems and processor units for this instead of also the fast inserter which needs another processor unit as well as dedicated kindle vine so if we do this way we need a stack inserter machine uh, in a box, of course. Uh, let's go to four here. Second string machine, a processor machine. We have three. Uh, an electrical components machine for the processor. Um, there. Also, we need a, a plant matter frame machine for the processor. And then the third ingredient was cooling systems. And for cooling systems, then we need uh, one assembler making cooling systems, one assembler making mechanical components for the cooling systems, and uh, one assembler, yeah, one assembler making Shepherdorn coolant. And that should do it there. So one, two, three for the, for the coolant component. Four. I'm sorry. We need we need a fourth one for iron components for this. So four, um, and then for the uh, for the process unit component, we need one, two, three. That's seven, and then finally we need the second inserter. That's eight, and we have three. So we need to make five. Boom. Five are crafting. So if we if we sneak this belt back through here, which I think is the best place to do it, then we want to have that final stack assembler machine ready to accept those so maybe we do it here which means that I want to probably put this box maybe here um, and then so you will be the stack inserter and then you need processor units and you need uh, cooling units. Um, the processor units, and the cooling units. It's not much of either material, so that's not bad. Uh, we don't have shiverthorn or limestone coming into this at all. So we have to bring that in, but we have, we have iron and copper we can steal here, and we have the plant fiber we can steal here. So I think that'll be okay. I think we'll do the shiver thorn back there, and we can do the, uh, the processor unit here with its requisite um, two things right here and right here. I think that'll work out okay. Let's add a couple of Wait a minute, there are three things, I think. Yeah, let's not go with that big of a swath. Nine, I think, maybe. Okay, so processor unit. Use electrical components and plant matter frames. Electrical components needs a oh, copper wire. I forgot about the copper wire uh, just now. Frames. 
Maybe I should do the opposite thing then. Yeah, let's do the frames here then. Frames, frames, frames. There they are. They're first, and I never look in the first uh, slot there up there. Electrical components then here. And then we need copper wire. Uh, you need iron directly fed. Yeah. Let's go with that that uh, thing again. Mole again. This area just a little bit bigger. more floors. And why the heck not? Just grab them all. Uh, by the way, yeah, you got a little bit of time left on you yet too then. Okay. And then a copper uh, machine can go right in here. Three right there. Uh, copper wire. That'll do. That, that, and this, and then those. And then we just need to feed in a uh, cooling unit machine right here. Cooling system. That'll have a uh, mechanical component, which I think would be good with that. So I'm one short. Ah, I'm one short. I'm one machine short. Uh, it is eight. It was four and four and then... Uh, or nine. Four and four and then one. Um, mechanical components. Uh, coolant. But the sugar therm coolant's going to need all the stuff. Uh, let's do it this way then. Shiverthorn, well, Shiverthorn coolant here, mechanical components here, and then iron could be even, like, weirdly like this. Iron components. Something like that, even. Okay, so you are going to be cooling systems. This will be mechanical components. And this can be iron uh, components. And then this can be the coolant itself. So maybe actually this goes like this instead. Yeah, that's perfect. Coolant. I think that's correct. If that's correct, then we can run these two belts directly. Iron goes there. Um, iron also goes here. Okay, let's start with start with this plant fiber. That can go into here. Direct insert like that. And you can have the red one. Iron goes in here. Copper goes in there. They both come around and go into here. And then iron also goes into there. Okay. So I think I want to change this iron slightly here. And there. Uh, give me a fake belt right here. And take this up. Turn it here and keep it up in the air. There, please. And there. And then take out the fakie. And bring this down this way. Um, turn you in here like this. And then we're going to do something else with you. Copper can come this way. Huh? Invalid placement. Why don't you like 
doing there? What is going on there? Oh, I'm out of belts. Never mind. That's what's going on there. Uh, here. One stack of these, though. Uh, actually, you could go like this around behind and then go into this one. And be done. You don't need anything directly. You don't need anything directly. Good. And you're just getting the inserters directly. Good, good, good. Iron then can do this. Can float on top of the copper. Can come down here. And then turn here. I think that'll do. You. You and you. This one goes here, and there, and here, and here, I believe. Nope, not there. Nope, 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 nope. These go here and here to make that. That's actually kind of not fast enough. And then your processor units, you're going to go that way. Uh, you're making that. You're making that. Uh, these need to go this way. Both of them, right? You go... No. These go... Whoa. These go here. These go... Here. These go here. And I need limestone and shiverthorn coming into this spot here. Uh, we could bring it in th between some of these other machines. Maybe down through here, since there's already bus lines going here. Uh, we'll just have to be a little bit creative, but I think we'll be fine. Let's do... Uh, I can't do the shiver thorn there, though. So let's go limestone here. And into... That one. And then Shiverthorn can come out here and can just live over top of this copper belt for a little while. And go into here. Great. And then you're going this way, which I've already handled. You've got the parts you need there. You've made the parts you need to make there. They're gone into here already. The coolant's going to come in this way. Uh, and while that stuff's making, we can do this for this. And then once one or the other of these is full, whether it's the slot in the box here or this belt in that machine, uh, the other one will just get all instead. That'll be fine. I think I heard you stamp. I did. Excellent. Stamping your feet there. And so you are the coolant. You are the cooling system here. No, that's process. Wait. Cooling system there. Yeah. Uh, so then these go here. These go here. Processor, cooling system, engage. Stack inserters. Onward. Okay. And then we'll just pad this out. Like we've done all the rest of them. With the stuff. trash some of that limestone uh, also some of the plant fiber plant matter uh, but this is working now so we need a light here uh, to signify that hey there's stuff here Wally don't forget um, it's behind the others but I think it's fine that it's back there they're all here kind of clustered together anyways 
And so that takes care of that. Let's go take a look at our production terminal before we, um, before we take a little leave here. Uh, we need to definitely store up some more power. And we have a lot more production uh, that needs to happen. Where are we at with cores as well here? Um, what about accumulation four? It's probably the best one to do here. And I think I'll do monorail spike trim next. We're almost there anyway. Um, I did hook the belt back up, right? I now have a bunch of these sitting on a, sitting on a belt. I do have some purple cores in my pocket, about 25 of them. Um, those I have to hand carry. Yeah, hook this back up. Okay, good. Um, because I don't, the filter uh, inserter on the other end is only programmed for blues, not purples. So otherwise, they'll set in the uh, machine, uh, the the monorail at the other end. So, um, yeah. Did you do? No, not yet. All right. Well, we'll wait on that. Um, and so I think what we'll do is we will pause this episode here, and I will let things kind of get made. Um, it could be some time, but I think we're okay with the mining charges at the speed they're at, given the frames being at the speed they're at. Uh, one thing we could do is feed the frames from the other end f back into the machine and send them down here to feed into here. Uh, that would be kind of fun. Uh, funny. Um, whether that's interesting or not, I don't know. Uh, another thing we could do, potentially, is upgrade this belt to, to Mark II, but then we run the risk of starving out too much that's going upstairs here. Although it still would be 50-50, so we just handle the surplus better. So we could do that too. Um, and, and I may, because then that gives us more that we can add, build more assemblers down at that end too. Uh, yeah, I think we'll do that. Um, but I think I will do that off camera. Uh, while this runs and we'll come back in this episode uh to finish up this episode rather when victor is is ready so uh um this is probably not going to release the day after the previous even though i'm recording this uh immediately after, almost immediately after the previous um but we will uh um you know we'll, we'll be back uh this will be released at some point this week um, obviously, as you're re listening to this, of course, it's going to release some point because you're listening to it. But anyways, uh, the last these last couple might be a little bit more spaced out as we you know achieve these final uh, these final two tiers. So uh, be right back. And welcome back. On one hand, it's been 45 minutes or so of play time since the last time you all were here. On the other hand, it's been 10 or so. Uh, the reason for the discrepancy, uh, I played, I ran about 45 minutes. Uh, most of it was idle, or some of it was idle, some of it wasn't. Uh, I don't remember exactly all I did during said time, um, but I wanted to show you what was going on. Uh, and that's why I brought you in now. Um, but also um, for the discrepancy, uh, there was a, an issue um, with the save. Somehow the save after that amount of time got corrupted and all the stuff on the belts was invisible and all the smelters were reporting that they had no fuel even though they had fuel in them and i don't know what else was going on it was really weird the miners were like they were sitting there as if they were putting the stuff on the belt like this one is right now but it never actually like it would it would disappear the, the hand would it never actually disappeared from that floating position the hand would turn back around and grab another one and then it would just kind of merge in with the one that was there and so on and so forth but uh no, it never nothing ever appeared on the belts which is really weird so i had to roll back to the save uh, right when we went to, uh went to black i think uh in the earlier part of the episode and now we can come back in for this um i don't remember exactly though everything that i might or might not have done i think yes i'm i think i know what else i didn't do yet or else i uh, let me reword that. What else I did that I may not have redone? Uh, and it's a couple of things. First of all, this is being really weird. Uh, the Atlantum is jammed completely, backed up completely. You can see it backed up here, but I don't know why these haven't rolled down into there yet, unless the ones that are there are invisible, which does not bode well for the uh, health and safety of my save going forward. 
Um, and in terms of the position we are at here, we're two thirds of the way with these two, about a third of the way with the advanced circuits. Uh, conveyor belts, I just need to keep feeding. But power, we need 20,000 megajoules. That's 20 gigajoules of power. And so it takes a lot of accumulators, or not, uh, sorry, not, a, uh, not power, but um, energy. Um, power would be watts. Um, so we need a lot more accumulators and I did do some staging of that. I just don't remember exactly where I am. And then of course we're about halfway through the mining charges. So first of all, we should go and get whatever belts we might have, uh, here in storage and bring those over if there's anything. I did also expand it out to four slots so that we could possibly get there a little bit faster. Um, but yeah, these are, it's weird. Okay. And, but I brought you all back in so we could start a rework of uh, Atlantum, or uh, not a rework necessarily, but uh, well, yes, a rework. So I did this. Um, I plotted. I, pl I laid out a, um, a a bunch of uh, floors here, and I want to actually move some of this Atlantum stuff up there. In order to do that, we need to empty this one out, which I wasn't looking forward to doing uh, for obvious reasons, um, but we're going to do it anyway. So let's pick all that up. We'll let it all come sinking back in here. Yeah, they're, they're refreshed now, and they can they can all get flushed through. Uh, but what I want to do is come back here to wherever this is ending at and actually break it. Uh, probably just right here. Maybe not. Maybe we'll have to break a pole, even. Hmm. I think we'll have to break the pole. Weird. Okay. It's fine. Oops. Oopsie. Oopsie. Uh, let's see. You. Gone. Okay. So that means it'll stop sending. And uh, that means that we can flush that line. Because I want to move the uh, receiver, whatever you call it, the, the depot, up onto this, this platform up here. Um, I want to do something a little bit different with uh, the, the, the shredding and all the subsequent parts here, uh, including... I want to break this uh, fuel here and flush all that out. Okay, so it's not going to receive all these because they are broken. Well, they're not broken, but they are not getting sent anymore because uh, I broke the line. Okay, so it gets a little buggy, but resources are, well, not unlimited, uh, pretty endless. And so I think we're okay with causing a little bit of damage there. So I want to tuck this thing in under here. Um, maybe like that somewhere. Somewhere in there. And that'd be the only thing that's up here on this level. But um, but yeah. And then let's do this. And so we're going to play... Uh, yeah, that's stuck there too. That might not be good. We'll see. See what happens. Plug that back in. We have so much Atlantum though that, uh, well, uh, it's a little scary. Um... That miner just goes and goes and goes and only stops when it's full down here, which is kind of insane. Why is that not reaching? Oh, because there's a pole here, dummy. There was a pole here at one point in time. And I'm getting some lag all of a sudden, which also doesn't bode well for the stability and whatever it is of the game here. Why are you not letting me place this? Hmm. That's not good. I'm getting a lot of lag. Like, a uh, disturbing amount of lag. Okay. I should have raised that up, too, while I was at it. Okay, so you can't reach to that, either. Bizarre. Well, that's fine. We'll just go in, like, here. It's not letting me place this. That is very, very weird. Okay, and I still got that mushroom. It's fine. Okay. It's reconnected. For what it's worth, it's reconnected. 
Um, I'm hoping something isn't more deeply corrupted in the save and that we lose more than what we bargained for. Here they come again. Yum. All right. So we're receiving again, which we kind of don't want because we've got so much, so much stuff. Um, I'm going to take out, let's see, let's take this out. Oh, they used a lot of fuel. Also kind of disturbing. Um, take out this, take out that, take out this. Take out this. It's going to be different somehow that I don't know how yet. Take out this. And I redid the plan. Uh, and I did the plan with a couple changes. First of all, uh, mark two smelters. So once you guys have chilled a little while, um, we can tear you up and rebuild you. We can rebuild them. Hmm. Okay. Three at a time, right? Uh, give me back some of those. I guess. Three there. Three there. Three there. You get the idea. There. And I just want to tear this whole thing up down here. You have two. You have two. That might just do it now. You're done. You're done. You're done. Wait, I don't think that one was done. It wasn't. You're done. You're done. So you have two of those left to go. Let's take up these inserters. We're going to redo this array. Although, maybe not, actually. No, let's leave the inserters where they are. Let's make a couple of few of these. I don't think I have any on hand. I don't. Make a few of them. Uh, we can put those inserters back down then, I guess. You're still going? No, you're done. Okay. You're done, and you're done. Oops. Took out another inserter there. Odd. Odd. You, 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 and you. Alright, so that's, uh, I think I did five, maybe? I don't know how many I have queued. I have no idea, and there's no real way to tell. Uh, but let's do this. Start with a couple of you while, while those are going. Uh, we're going to do eight Mark II smelters. This will make us 39 per minute uh, maximum. But one of the things that I wanted to change is that, uh, you know, here we have the Atlantum coming, uh, or mixture coming in here. I don't want to do that like this anymore. Uh, first of all, we can do away with this and do stack inserters because we have the technology. Um, I want to do two assemblers. And I want to do three Mark I Threshers making Atlantum powder from the ore. And the reason I want to do the Mark I Threshers is because the Mark IIs are overwhelmed with the filter inserters. I don't really understand the... Um, that's what was there in that slot, maybe. Maybe not. No, they're here. Okay. Never mind. Oh, it was probably the Mark IIs that were there. Um, I don't really understand the... Uh, the... I don't know the word here. The the way that this is kind of supposed to work. Um, and actually, there's not enough room here. Ah. Um, well, given how slow these are, I think we should change this after all. After all. Put the fuel in the center. That would narrow this by one belt. Means i got to clean up the whole mess, but that's uh, fine. You only live once, right? Right. Okay, uh, let's see. If, if I do fuel in the center, I think I can do an output belt that far over? Whatever I can do to make it make enough space up here. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, easily. 
Maybe even more. Actually, I do want more than that. Uh, I guess I should have marked where I had this at. I want to do... Right there. One... Two... Three... Four... Uh, two spaces between like that. I don't have all of them made yet. And I'm going to have to make one more. There we go. Okay. Uh, this can be a Mark 1 belt output. Here. And here. Or can I go over by one more yet? Let's check this. Yeah, I'm in the exact same spot. I need to go over by one more yet. Right up against those other machines. And then here. And that gives me, I think, just enough room for this. Uh, let's see, the order and the, and the fuel are going to come in here. Um, we have to do the curly Q in the end of one of these belts to make it not do that. But that's fine. Um, and then we can do the threshers here. And I want to do these so that we have the limestone outputting on this side. There, there I think, and there I think. Let's take this back a little bit too. And I might, sh I'll, I will probably end up having to change this around as well uh, before we before we say that it's good. If the ore comes in, the ore needs to come in either down he this road here and then get inserted twice. And then we output two and then jump up uh, for the um, the the powder, or we do the ore inputs in these places, and the powder jumps up, or the powder goes across this belt. It doesn't matter uh, because the spe the the speed of well maybe it does. Hold on a second. No, the speed doesn't matter because it's the same number of items either way. So I think we will just do um, this and we'll do stack inserters here, I think. And then that can go like this. I may, I will probably need more than one uh, output there, but we can do one input here like this. And then the outputs will come, this one's gonna be a little bit weird. The outputs will come this way. And I'm doing one stack inserter right now, but that doesn't mean that that's what I'm going to stick with. Uh, I don't want you to do that. Should go up. Uh, let's do, 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 do this. Turn again. Oh, wait. I can't do that. Okay, let's try this again. U, Q, no, not Q. R, R, there. You are there. And then these can go uh, not quite like that, actually. This way. And then that can turn. Good. This comes this way. Actually, it can turn like that, even. Good. And then we'll do one stack inserter out here as well, but I'm prepared for two. Place one for be prepared for two. And, oh wait, we can't do stacks there. These have to be filters out because they're only filtering, they're only outputting one of the things that we need to output here. So we definitely need two outputs. And this is where the trouble comes in uh, because of the speed of these, of the, of the faster ones, this wouldn't work. And I might even need more than three of these um, because we're outputting 176 Atlantum powder between the three. That puts us at 
58. Yeah, we're need more than one. We need two out, which we have two out. Okay. I, th I, we, I think we should be able to pull this off with the two we have. Uh, because we need to have 58, almost 59 output uh, lantern powder. And each one of these can do 30 something. Uh, the exact number is variable, variable depending on who you ask or where you're reading it. So we'll say 30 something. Uh, less than 40 anyway, but we should be okay with this. Uh, and then the limestone will come out on this side. We have a total of 352 limestone per minute coming out of these three. Uh, so that's 120, we'll call it, each, which is actually a Mark I and a Mark II belt combined uh, total, which means that we need to do this a little bit differently than we have here. Uh, let's do Mark IIs from here. And then we'll do Mark 1... Oh, we'll just do Mark 2. Screw it. We'll just do Mark 2s here. Uh, up this way. Turn here. Maybe. Maybe. I'm going to wait right there. I need more um, filter inserters, though. I'm also cognizant of the time, because we're actually running into a long episode now. And um, I don't want to do that. Um... But I also want to show you this and get this done, so I'm not I'm not really sure how to handle that, given how much time we spent on the episode before the break. Um, oh, that's wrong. That's wrong. So I guess I should stop screwing it up. That would help, probably. And so I think what I might do now is actually just um, end the episode here and finish this hookup. We've kind of seen it seen it all before. Um, we'll put in two assemblers here, making um, making the powder, or making the mixture, and then that'll go into one of these two lines with for the for the smelting, and hopefully that'll give us a bit more atlantum than we have now, which will help with the advanced circuit production. But I think what we'll do is we'll leave this and. We will uh, re return in the next one to to show you the, the final result of it, and also to push the button to finish up this uh, this term this production terminal. So thank you all for joining me, and I will see you all next time. Bye for now.